Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Music Reaction with me, your host, Rachel. I'm an avid music lover and singer, and today we're going to be listening to Heart of a Coward. The song is called Devour Me. Uh, I have not listened to this band before, so this is completely new for me. Uh, they are from the UK. They are a metal band, and they formed in 2009. With that being said, we're going to jump right in. Okay, okay, wait, 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 Um. Interesting. Okay, I was just reading the lyrics for the, for the first part. Um, because I didn't quite get it, because, uh, it was growls. It was screams. Or, it was growls. Um. It's kind of keeping me on my toes. I will say that, uh, because the way that they've, because I mean, usually in songs, they just flow one into the other, like verse, or there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can write lyrics, but let's just say verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, etc. And they usually just roll kind of like one into the other, but this one, they took like a dramatic pause before they went into the course and i was kind of like what's happening <laughs> what's happening <laughs> um so it's kind of keeping me on my toes and it's nice to hear like a mix of the i always you guys all know i like a mix of the growls with the clean vocals i like it um and so yeah let's see where this goes i wonder if they'll keep me on my toes as well like a little bit farther in too Oops, sorry. <laughs> it's so punchy, too. The verses. Okay, okay, and then I also want to say too, like his clean vocals are still like quite gravelly, which is nice because then it's, it yes, it can be nice when things are kind of like polar opposites. Like if you think of, I don't know, you think of the band like July Talk, you've got the gentleman who is like really like deep gravelly, full voice. And then you have the counterpart of that where um, the lead female singer, her pit like it's just her pitch is sounds so it sounds so high and feminine and it's like the complete opposite of uh the gentleman and so yes it is nice when things are opposite but in this particular one it's it's nice that it kind of keeps within the vein of the growls because his voice like i'm sure he could do clean vo vocals without that gravel in it um or i I, I, I would think so, but um, 
there is a lot of gravel in his cleaner vocals that really um, blends well with like the growl. So it's all kind of like in this, it's all kind of in the same vein, you know, like it's not totally flippy flop. Um, I like flippy flop, but I also like in the same vein, you know, I can appreciate both. Um, <clears throat> And he's key, like the the song itself is keeping me on my toes because I'm like I they keep breaking in certain places and then they kind of go into little breakdowns or little um like instrumental parts and then they flip back into either a verse or the chorus. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's not something you I guess would normally see when making a song. So it kind of just Keeps me on my toes. Keeps me on my toes. Like, so gravelly. I love that part where the guitar falls. That part. I like that. Dig that! That was not what I was expecting. And like I knew it was a metal band. I knew that. So yes, technically it was kind of what I was expecting. But the way that they went about the song was different. And not within kind of like the normal formula of writing a song, you know? Like, yes, there are different um, formulas to write a song, but there are some that are just more popular than others. And so this one just kind of kept me on my toes because I hadn't, I hadn't really seen something that was um, written or performed the way that it was. And I loved the breakdowns. I loved the graveliness of his cleaner vocals. So then it kind of meshed with like, his his growling parts um but yeah i am pleasantly surprised i didn't i i i was surprised i was like i was surprised i was just surprised about the way that it was performed and done i just kept me on my toes i keep saying that but I'm just like, I don't know. There's not a lot of musicians or bands that kind of can keep you on your toes. You know? Like, there are. But there aren't, like, a ton that can keep you on your toes. So I was like, oh, I was kept on my toes. I wonder how many times I've said that throughout this video. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave now. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!